In this video, I'm going to give you my top five best tools for bicycle repairs. And considering the fact my newest bike is already over a decade old, and I prefer to restore bikes from the previous millennium, this is going to be a distinctly personal list. Let me know what bicycle repair tools you cannot do without, and please like and subscribe to the channel, which is always appreciated. Here goes. At number five sits the crank puller. When I started to get serious about doing my own bike repairs, the first thing you want to do is to overhaul the drivetrain. That means you'll need a tool to remove the crank. And the reason why I chose this above the chain tool CT 3.2 and the chain whip SR 2.3 necessary to remove the chain and sprocket is that I simply use the crank puller much more often. And that is because I also removed the crank to be able to clean it more thoroughly. At number four sits the tool I owned long before I actively started restoring bicycles and is the tool I've probably used the most by far. And that's because you need them for brakes, brake levers, shifters, derailleur, seat posts, and the list goes on. Basically every bolt on your bike needs to be operated with a hack tool and not having to think about getting the right one but having them all in one tight package is a blessing, especially for the price of 10 euros. The difference between having to clean your chain with or without a chain cleaner is tremendous. It's much easier, faster and better, enabling you to do a quick five minute clean before riding. I own the BBB version, but we'll consider the Park Tool CM25 Professional Chain Scrubber since that one is made from aluminium. And the plastic body cracked and broke very quickly on mine. Especially with restoration products, you need to step up your game when it comes to cleaning. And turpentine or white spirit will give you the edge when it comes to removing decades old grease. Used on a piece of cloth, in a chain cleaner, or the infamous salad bowl, it's my tried and true recipe of cleaning each and every bicycle part you can think of. And for my number one pick, I've chosen a tool which falls more into the restoration category than the repair category. But that can be said for this entire top three. And more than any other tool I own, the polishing wheel breathes new life into a tired old bicycle part and you don't use it to get a bike back into working condition but to restore its part to their former glory enabling you to achieve that time capsule feel of old bikes in all honesty what product you take on might differ markedly from my penchant for 80s and 90s bicycles and may require different tools and my suggestion would be to expand your tool set with each new project just like i did and then you're sure you'll buy what you need. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and be sure to check out the next one. Thanks for watching and bye for now.